we have a conceptual question here. This has to do with finding the angle between an equipotential surface and the line of force in that region. In order to answer this, we need to take help of the equation that connects the potential difference between two points and the displacement between those two points and the electric field in the region. It can be written as dV equals minus E dot dr. It can further be written as minus E dr cos theta. Let me explain. If you choose two points A and B, the displacement vector from one point to another is represented as let's say dr vector. The potential difference between them is let's say dv and electric field in the region is represented as E vector. Angle theta here happens to be the angle between dr vector and E vector. In that case, choose a path which is perpendicular to the electric field. Imagine, in that case, what is theta turning out to be? 90 degree and that gives you dv to be 0. How is it relevant you may ask? Simple. You are looking at all those points perpendicular to the electric field or the line of force to have the same potential and that's exactly how you define an equipotential surface, right? It is a surface which contains all those points at the same electric potential. So we have concluded here that between the electric field and the equipotential surface or in other words between the line of force and the equipotential surface the angle is 90 degree. With our deduction let's look at the options once again. The correct one happens to be C. Let's look at the data. We are considering a uniform electric field along positive x axis in a given region. There are three points given to us. One is at origin, point A. The other point B is on x axis at x is equal to 1 cm. And point C is on y axis at y is equal to 1 cm. We have to choose the correct option among these given to us concerning the electric potentials at point A, B and C. In order to choose the right option, two facts can be very helpful. First one, if you draw a line perpendicular to the direction of the electric field, it happens to be an equipotential one. What do you mean by that? All the points on that equipotential line are at same electric potential. With this logic, if you look at y axis, which is perpendicular to the x axis. Why? Why am I considering x axis? Because that's the direction along which electric field line exists. So the direction of field is along x axis. The line I'm considering is along y axis and they are perpendicular to each other. Along this line, at all points, we find the same electric potential. Exactly why potential at point A and potential at point C must be same in magnitude. So we have VA equals VC. Second fact is that if you go along the direction of electric field, the electric potential decreases at the highest rate, which also gives us the information that potential at A is greater than potential at B. Because if you go from A to B, you are going along the direction of the electric field. Potential should decrease. So we have Va being greater than Vb. With these deductions in mind, let's look at the options given once again. The correct one turns out to be B. We have a very interesting question here. We are given the equation of an equipotential line in an electric field. It is y is equal to 2x. With this information, we need to choose the correct option for the electric field strength vector at the point whose position coordinates are given to us to be 1, 2. How are you going to solve this? You need to remember that electric field in direction 
will be perpendicular at an equipotential surface. In other words, if you choose two tangents, one tangent drawn to the equipotential line, another tangent drawn to the field line, electric field line, they happen to be perpendicular. In that case, if you consider the slope of the first tangent to be m1, the slope of the second tangent to be m2, their product must give you minus 1. Let's look at the equation for the equipotential line. y is equal to 2x. It's a straight line. The slope of tangent drawn to that line will be dy by dx and that will be equal to 2. Obviously, in order to give you m1 into m2 equals minus 1, m2, the slope of the tangent drawn to the electric field line must turn out to be minus half. In other words, these are the given options for the electric field strength vector. The slope of the tangent drawn to the field line will be simply the ratio of y component of electric field to the x component of electric field and that ratio should turn out to be minus half. Which option gives you that? Obviously, it is option D. So, among these options, the correct one is D. In this question, we are considering a uniform electric field to exist along x-axis whose intensity is 250 volt per meter. A charged particle of charge plus 12 microcoulomb is moved from origin to another point in the xy plane. The coordinates are given to us. It is moved to 20 centimeter comma 5 centimeter position. With this information, we need to find the total work done by us in moving the charged particle to the new position. What do you mean by the work done by us? It means that we need to find the work done by external force. Here are the given options. In order to find the work done by the external force, we will make use of the equation W external, which is work done by external force in moving the charged particle from let's say A to B and that should be written as the charge on the particle into potential at B minus potential at A. Also look at the situation given here. These are the initial and final positions A and B respectively. But we also know for a fact that if you draw a line perpendicular to the electric field what am I talking about? Draw a line perpendicular to the electric field here. Then all the points on this line happen to be at same electric potential. In that case, this point here, D, happens to be at same potential as that at B, which only tells you that VB must be equal to VD. Moreover, if you go along the direction of the electric field, you know that electric potential decreases at highest rate. So if you go from A to D, you know that electric potential decreases and we can write Va to be greater than Vd. Also, Va to be greater than Vb for that matter. Now that we know the relation between the potentials at different points, let's write the work done by external force. It can be written as the charge which is 12 microcoulomb into Vb minus Va. But we know that Vb is equal to Vd. So we can also write Vd minus Va. Then again, we know that Vd is less than Va. So this value turns out to be negative. If you take only the modulus of Vd minus Va, keeping the minus sign outside, remember we have taken that minus sign into consideration. It's very important. But I am now considering only the modulus of Vd minus Va. And that happens to be E into D. What is D? 
the distance between A and D which are on the X axis. And how much is that? 20 centimeter. Let's simplify. Work done by external force in moving the charged particle from A to B should be minus 12 into 10 to the power minus 6 into magnitude of electric field intensity. How much? 250 volt per meter. And the distance between point A and point D happens to be 20 centimeter. Simplify this and you get minus 0.6 millijoule. This is the work done by external force. Well, the correct option turns out to be A. Let me help you with the data. There is a uniform electric field E along X direction in the region considered. A charged particle with charge 0.2 coulomb is moved through a distance of 2 meter in a direction making an angle 60 degree with the X axis. What does it mean? Its displacement is along a line making 60 degree with the electric field in direction. And the work done by electric field in such a case happens to be 4 joule. With this information, we need to find the value of E, electric field intensity. And here are the given options. Well, this is the direction of electric field. Here is the initial position and the force on the charged particle is along the direction of electric field itself because we are considering a positive charge. From initial position A to final position B, the displacement is of magnitude 2 meter. This is the direction of the displacement. D vector is let's say the displacement vector. The angle between vector D and the force or the electric field in direction happens to be 60 degree. How do you find the work done in such a case? You use the classic expression for the work done. It is the dot product between the force and the displacement. Force in this case is known to us Q into vector E. So let's find the work done. It is Q E dot D. What do we know among these quantities? The work done which is 4 joule. The charge which is 0 0.2 coulomb. Do we know E value? Not yet. Do we know D? Yes. Do we also know the value of theta between vector E and vector D? Yes, it is 60 degree. So we can actually express this as Q E D cos theta and in the next line we can write E into D is 2 meter into cos 60 degree which is half. Simplify this and you get the value of electric field intensity to be 20 Newton per coulomb. Look at the options. The correct one is obviously D.